Hey, welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I am bringing you my February haul. So as some of you do know, I am going overseas soon, um, middle of March to so March 16th. We go to London, Berlin, Amsterdam for about three weeks. So there will be some content coming up still, which I'm quite impressed with myself. But I thought I would share with you my February haul. This is probably the smallest haul I've ever done in my life and yeah, it, it it's weird for me to not be able to haul because I've, I'm such like a, I buy so much makeup constantly. Um, and if you've been a long term subscriber of this channel, you do know how much makeup I buy because you see it quite regularly. Um, and yeah, I just don't have that many products to share with you. So early in the month, I went to a Too Faced event at Mecca and that's where you spend $50 up front uh, before going and then you go and they do all your makeup in Too Faced. A while ago, I went to a Stila one. That one was better. Uh, at that one, if you do know Mecca, um, they've got like a half circle table at the back in the beauty lab. And we sat down and listened to the Stila makeup artist. Um, she chose one of the people who did makeup on her and then we did makeup and then the Stila makeup artist came and so what we were doing. With the Too Faced one, they gave us each a person, like a Mecca makeup artist. And then it was Jazz from Too Faced who came around and just talked to us randomly. For me personally, I'm just like a huge introvert. So it didn't work because every time she came, I was just like. Mm -hmm. And then the girl who was doing my makeup, like we just weren't vibing. I'm really sorry if you ever watched this. Um, it was, a, she did a beautiful base, but I wasn't, I don't know. Just wasn't super into it. She was lovely and I had a great time chatting to her, but it was more like, it was more just like when I go in and get my makeup done at Beauty Loop, except we, we were only using Too Faced products. So it wasn't as good. I don't like, I probably would have liked it more if it was Beauty Loop. And the girl from Too Faced, she was beautiful, she was lovely, and she was like so willing to have a chat, but I was just scared. And I just wanted to sit there and listen to her share all her tips. But oh well, it was good and it was worth it. I'm definitely gonna keep trying them out. Um, I really wanna go to an Urban Decay event. That's like my dream. Anyway, so one of the things that I've bought and I just updated this and this is the Mecca Powder, Power Tool Brush Refresh Mix. And it's just a, I've, I've used this for the longest time ever. It's just a quick drying formula that cleans your brushes. That's for when I'm too lazy to do like a deep cleanse. Then from the Too Faced event, when you spent, I think it was probably $70 or something stupid, you got a free tout bag. Um, this beauty. And it's times like this that I wonder where my makeup addiction has led me because like, why did I want this? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'll probably find a use for it. Um, and it did come with a sample of the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I've tried the um, primer, the coconut one. Ugh, I did not like it and it sort of just made me break out. I do not like coconut oil on my face. But I did pick up some other cool products from Too Faced and I've actually been loving these products. I picked up the Born This Way Concealer in Almond. This is... High coverage spreads well and is beautiful. I actually really enjoy its packaging. It's quite fun. I like to label everything, by the way, <laughs> when I got it nowadays, just so I know when it entered my collection. So I've got more of an idea of its age because I do tend to hoard makeup. Anyway, a small amount goes pretty far. I'm wearing it right now. I like it. It lasts well and it's beautiful. And I find it's maybe not as drying as the Tarte Shape Tape, but they're comparable products. The Brow Quickie, and this is one that I just randomly picked up. Uh, this is in Universal Brunette. And it has like microfibers. Can you see it? Can you see the weird sticks? Yeah, so can you see it's sort of got a few little microfiber brush hairs on it. So when you brush it on your hair, you're actually getting like a bit of extra hair coverage. Um, I used this the other day and it did just go up in my work makeup look. It wore beautifully. It is waterproof. And for me, I just need a bit of filling in on hair bits. But this product has been like a perfect everyday eyebrow product. I'm, I'm super impressed with this and I've never seen anyone talk about it. Then another beautiful one that I came across and this is the Pineapple Sun. Pineapple Sun Bronzer 
highlight combo. I personally do not like split bands. It does have a cute little mirror with a little pineapple dude. Apparently they've all got names, but I don't know what they are. Anyway, this is the highlight and bronze, and I will show you footage of me putting them on. But this bronzer is beautiful if you're a fair skin. So that's the highlight there and the bronzer. And I am in love. Love it. And while we're here, look, I don't have much to show you. So let's just compare it to some of my other favorites. It is a shimmery bronze. But it's light and it's really buildable. Then we've got Precision's Formula Light Butter Bronzer. And then. Milk Chocolate Soleil. I'm still on the sample. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever have to buy the full one. Look, it's still going so strong. And voila. So those are like my three, three favourite bronzers. The Pineapple Sun has definitely hit into a nice little area. Um, and as I'm coming up to my trip, this is probably what's going to come with me because having the highlight in it is super useful. It is what I'm wearing today. Um, I love it. If you're fair skin, this is actually really nice. I really like it. Oh, the smell. It does smell a bit weird. But it's not as strong as the Physician's Formula, which is always a win for me. Um, anyway, those are all the things that I bought in February. I've like, been so good. Oh, I did buy this Glitty Cosmetics eyeshadow palette that I'm like, fingers crossed it will arrive before I leave. I don't think it's gonna though. I will be off adventuring probably when you see this uh but thank you so much for watching thank you so much for stopping by i probably still do need some tips on what i should buy while i'm away and dude there is gonna be a haul when i get back i cannot wait to show you what i buy while i'm away i can't wait to go shopping again for makeup it has been just like waiting and like ready to burst anyway thank you so much for watching today's haul i absolutely appreciate and adore you Mwah.